Hello and welcome. Uh, this is John RMS, aka Ace Bullion here, and today I have a couple of coin reviews to present to you guys, and hopefully um, make you aware of them if you weren't already. Anyway, what you can see here, and there's uh, a couple of bags, but what you can see here is my wife's handiwork. Uh, she has been at it and she has been going through all of the details that my adjudicators have been providing. So you may see some of your names on here. Um, anyway, there's hundreds and hundreds of entries in this giant bag alone. So, yep, that's, uh, we're getting close. And then I have in another bag, I have some shout out videos that were done. Um, and in the final bag, I have the donators and this one's red so that I do not mistake in it at all. So super awesome, super happy. Um, everyone's in here. Um, so yeah, I am really looking forward to everything. I can't wait to announce the draw. Anyway, right, so I said I have some coin reviews, and as always, um, this is a sponsored video through the uh, Silver Trader, who kindly provided me these coins to show off and to let you guys, you you you, you YouTubers, uh, God, that's a really tough tongue twister, um, get a chance to see, experience, and uh, maybe realize that there's a series that you weren't aware of out there. Well, I have two. That's right. Not one, but two. And I don't have them, but we'll see how it goes. So the first one, and this comes from the, <laughs> uh, I want to say it, it's the Zyberg Mint or something like that. So I've decided to remove the capsule so that you can actually get a raw, up-close view of these uh, lovely uh, beasties. So let's have a look, and then we'll be very careful, And because these coins are not mine. They're only mine if I decide that I want them to be mine. So, and of course, I have to pay for them at that point, so understand that. But anyway, what do we have here? We have the first coin in the series, which is the Giants of the Ice Age. And you can kind of see how many are, well, uh, you, not kind of, you can see how many are going to be in the series. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. It, it, uh, it appears that there's going to be seven. So currently, right there, is depleting this one which of course we all know to be the giant woolly mammoth. So let's uh, let's zoom in and have some really close looks because I'm quite impressed. First off, the attention to detail just by listing what is coming up in the series. Yeah, that's going to be fun. The fact that there's a small bit here which says one ounce AG and then we have three nines, fine silver. It has the year 2019. This is when it was first released. Let's take a look here at the woolly mammoth itself. Absolutely spectacular. Again, it's popping out. You can see, I'm going to try to zoom in a bit more here which will mean I'll have to hold it a little bit more steady. You can see the background. You can see just about every little thing. And as I'm rolling this, you'll actually appreciate how the light is playing off and it forms into, I mean, it's so shiny, it's reflecting on me here onto the background and kind of creating this, you know, almost um, apocalyptic view for for the Ice Age here. Because it's like, 
Uh, there comes a big meteor smash. Um, but yep, so we have that there. And I have to say, this is awesome. <laughs> you know, um, it has a reeded edge, which goes along, I think. Just checking here. Yep. It's all good. It's all good. And we have on the back or the front. So this is a coin. It's, uh, as you can see here, Republic of Ghana. Uh, five Cetus or Cetus. And I like the pattern, actually. I have, at first, it's quite a, an interesting thing. And you're not quite sure, you know, is it really spectacular? Is it really not? But you know what? They've had to make something very unique. And, uh, yeah, I think they've pulled it off. And uh, we can see here, it says freedom and justice. And we have two eagles on either side. What appears to be a tree in the bottom left corner. The top, it appears to be a knife and dagger. Um, in the top right of the shield, it appears to be some kind of castle or fortress. And then the bottom right hand corner appears to be a windmill. And then you have that tiger crest right in the center of the cross. Now, of course there is, you know, uh, a lovely general star above it, or that's at least what I'm making it out to be. Um, in this light, it actually looks very golden. It's not, I apologize. It is the way my light is reflecting. So it's not gold. But yeah, there you go. So that is the back or face, whatever. The side that you're gonna be showing would of course be this. But either side, I'm actually quite happy. Look a little, you know, the actual feet, the, the details. And if we zoom into the horn or the tusk, it actually is, it's ribbed. No, no bad comments for that one. It's, you can see the striations. They really did take a lot of detail on it. And I'm glad they didn't go super overboard and they put that lovely reflective mirror finish in the background and the frosted elements and they really highlighted everything throughout this uh, coin. So yes, I am, I'm, I'm a bit in love with this one. But let's, uh, let's put this one down for now because I got a special treat for you. And uh, I did say that this was a multi-coin feature. That's right. So I shall pop this top off here. Well, they had just released the second in the series. Now I'm slow because I never had the series until now, that's right. I've already made up my mind that I do want these coins. And let's actually let's just go right to the back first so you can see if they've made any differences. As we can see here, it appears to be that same beautiful pattern. With the freedom and justice, nothing changed on the shield. So that appears to be the same as it would be. Now, again, lovely read it. Now, this should be a 2020 coin realistically. However, they have it down as 2019. But, let's see here, let's zoom in. So, in the first one we've seen, we had the woolly mammoth. Now that, of course, is very nicely, um, toned out and here we have the large elk or moose whatever it would be and of course that area is in a, a very gloss finish now 
Now this one, I am a bit disappointed. I do like the first Ice Age because it looks like there's, you know, an awful lot of detail that gone on and, you know, a lot to define. This one, it looks like they've just used the same pattern almost kind of throughout, I have to admit. In fact, that almost looks like a little Chinese symbol down there, but it's, what is that? I'm trying to get a light play there. Do you see that right here, right above there? I don't know. Just a bit of grass, but it's a, uh, it's a bit bizarre. So this one in the series, the second one in the series, is not as defined, uh, apart from obviously the uh, the antlers, and uh, yeah, it's not as defined and as crisp as the first one. Not in my, at least in my view. Everything else though is beautiful. And obviously, if I'm going to collect one, I'm going to collect the set, but I don't find it hideous, but I think that they could have done a lot better with the design itself. Especially when, as I said, when we compare the two quality designs, and let me just slide this down because I don't want to tip it over because I do want to buy these. So when you kind of compare the two designs, let me zoom out as well at the same time, see if that'll help. You can suddenly see almost a pattern as such, but with the woolly mammoth, you have, you know, the ears, you have the eyes that are uh, defined, the trunk. There's a lot going for it. I'm even blocking its, you know, its feet, sorry. Um, and that's super, super cool. But on this one, they've just gone for a kind of a, a broad and basic approach, in my view. Just having a look here. Looks like there may be a few scratch lines there. If I'm just checking. Yeah, it does. I have not done that, but there you go. But I'm still happy, as I said, overall. Um, I wish they would have actually defined it a bit better so that you could see the nose, the mouth a lot more, um, giving it more muscular tone. I mean, a lot of the coins that I've recently reviewed, you would see, you know, the body definition and things that stand out. If we take a look at the antlers here, we can clearly see how they're actually standing out, how it shows realism. Um, and that is significant. You know, that is what I get really attracted to when Something is, you know, as beautiful as it is, I, I do like to see the realism show. It's almost as if they started and then stopped. They could have really built up that body a little bit better and made the muscle tone, you know, especially around here where the front shoulder is and underneath uh, its neck. Um definitely shown a lot better than that. I mean, I'm having to rotate it as a generic. If you just take a look here from the first point of view, you're going to miss this entirely. It's only as you rotate it and get light play on it, are you going to get the details. And it doesn't seem to be as in depth as that woolly mammoth, but it's still a, a beautiful coin. I am so sorry about that. Uh, during filming, uh, I just had a, a minor, uh, well, it was a telephone call, so I had to actually answer it. And that was quite important to do so. So anyway, right, I was on about these. 
Um, you know, giants of the, I'm just going to slide it back, giants of the uh, Ice Age. And overall, my impression, as I said, is really good. Um, I do like them an awful lot. And even despite, you know, the fact that this is a, a bit of a, I don't know, it looks like someone stickled it a little bit. And I think that they could have put in some more detail. I think it's a lovely, lovely coin. Now, here's what really gets me about the pair of these is that they have a mintage, a limited mintage of only 15,000. Now, it's not an extremely low number, but by far, it's not a high number. And I am digging these a lot. So, yep, I like them. And I can see just why I like them. And it's because when they do give the attention to detail, you can see how reflective it is, by the way, the cotton gloves uh, showing. And uh, it is, yeah, it is really, really superb. I'm not bothered about those little micro scratches on there um, that you can see just right about here going that way. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing the other five in the set, which should be, let's have a look. That one could be anything from what, saber tooth tiger or something like that. I think that one's going to be a bear. That one almost looks like a rhino. That one potentially is a, um, could be a, uh, I'm trying to think here, a bull, potentially, I'm thinking, I'm just looking. That one's is definitely going to be uh, some kind of deer or antelope. And that one we know is going to be another large cat. But yeah, 15,000 mintage. That's, that's pretty good in my book. And uh, as I said, I do like them. So as I have already said before, um, I've reviewed a few coins already and I was really debating on which coin I wanted to review next because I have a few that I am excited about. There goes my money, right? Um, but I am certain that these two are not going back in the box to Martin, to the silver trader. These are gonna stay in my collection because I like them a lot. Um, and it's, it is something that is just super cool. I, uh, I'm not normally one to kind of pick it up. I mean, I, when you think of, and I, again, this is why I took it out of the capsules. You can see why, but when you think of like giants of the ice age, um, maybe T-Rex might come to your mind or something like that. But to me, it's all the creatures that survived and how they survived and adapted. So the saber tooth tiger, which is relatively recently, I believe, uh, now class says, uh, what is it? Uh, completely gone from the planet. Um, yeah. So it is just amazing. And, you know, I do like, this rear design. Again, you can see that that's on the capsule, it wasn't on uh, the coin itself. So, but you can see how reflective it is because you can see it almost looks like two. So I'm curious to know, what's your opinion? Do you guys like the Giants of the Ice Age? Um, I can tell you, I do. And these will, um, once I pay for them, end up in my collection. So they're gonna be put off to the side. I have them backwards, kind of an OCD thing here. Must must show them in order. So we have the first one off on the left. And then we have the second one in the series here on the right. So please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think, your opinions. Uh, as always, please make sure that you subscribe. 
um, hit that like bell and please leave a comment down below because I am curious to know what your thoughts, your opinions and your views are. Is this something that you've just seen? Is this something that is new to you? Um, and uh, yeah, make sure that you go over as well. Check out my website, www.acebullion.co, that's C-O dot U-K. Um, and uh, you can find all my hand poured silver there. But uh, there you have it. You can also check out the silvertrader.co.uk. And uh, you can find me in a number of places such as, whoops. <laughs> I'm going to drop it, shall I? As I said, I'm going to buy these anyway. But you can find me in a number of places such as Instagram, Facebook, um, Twitter, Rumble, uh, Silver Form. I'm on all of them. So certainly check it out. It's worthwhile. And uh, a big thank you to everyone for watching and supporting my channel. That is super awesome. And uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this as much as I have. But uh, stay tuned. There will be some more reviews. And I will be announcing very shortly when the draw is happening. I got just a couple little things to do. Such as, A, my wife's, uh, my wife on his anniversary on Friday. This Friday, that's right, today's Monday, this Friday is our anniversary, and on Sunday is her birthday. So I'm kind of tied up for the weekend to do the draw. There's a lot happening, uh, but I will notify you before then when the draw is happening. So this week, make sure you're tuned in to watching the videos because you're going to want to know when I'm going to be live. And I might do a live test session. In fact, I, there's no might about it. I will be doing a live test session and uh, you can just in, I, I would encourage you to interact um, and I can see how things are rolling and mess around that way make sure everything is up and up so again thank you very much for watching please uh, make sure that you leave a like or dislike if you don't like the video share it if possible and uh, definitely leave a comment down below as always, thank you very much for me, Ace Bullion, or John RMS, and uh, have a great day wherever you are. Bye for now.